everyone, it's Alicia again. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, I'm pretty new, so it might be your first time. <laughs> but I make equestrian videos, tack reviews, uh, vlogs, barn vlogs, all sorts of stuff. But today I'm reviewing the Ariat Heritage Contour Field Zip 2. Uh, tall riding boot. At the end of this video, I'm going to include a clip or excuse me, a link to a clip of me modeling them with um, breeches on so you can kind of see them in a little bit of a different light. But today I'm just talking about what it's like owning them after two years. Would I buy them again? Do I recommend them? Where's the best places to get yourself a pair? Um, that sort of thing. So It'll be kind of short and sweet before we get started. A little sip of Nespresso. Not sponsored, but would love to be. Amazing. Okay, so, Ariel Tall Boots. Love them, in summary. Only thing that I don't care for is that personally how they fit on me is that I do get a little bit of a blister right back here on my heel if I walk around in them. So riding, beautiful, wonderful, love them. If I was to get off at like a horse show and wear them around all day, that ain't happening. Very uncomfortable, just in the heel part. It could be that I need just a slightly bigger size, but these are the ones that work for me. So I just make it work by throwing on a pair of tennis shoes when I don't, um, need them. So like if I'm not riding and I take them off. So that's the only downside. The rest are all up. So you've got your elasticated zippers here. Excuse me. Elasticated laces. So they're not zippers. The zippers in the back. And zipper in the back with elasticated gussets is what I meant to say. Along here. And then you've got elastic right here. So you do have a little bit of stretch even though it's a nice like firm good quality leather. And your typical area footbed, very comfortable. They've got a slight little Spanish top to them, which is really cute. And these are in the black, obviously. I'm going to bring up a pair that doesn't have the keeper, um, the thing that keeps it rigid inside. So on the inside, you've got a nice plain leather that's really soft and these are really malleable. And then sort of sizing. I'm about five foot four inches tall, um, which is about 64 inches. And what fits me the best is a short height, regular calf, US size eight, which is a UK size 5.5 and Euro size 38 and a half um, women's. Um, the Ariat tall boots do tend to run a little tall. So if you normally wear a regular height, you may just need to double check the measurements on the Ariat website, which will be linked below. Um, there'll be an Amazon link where you can find these boots. Um, I like Amazon because you can try them out, return them prime if they don't fit. Obviously, don't wear them to the barn, but try them out at home. But um, what was I saying about sizing? Oh, the all Ariat boots tend to run just a little bit big because generally I'll wear in women's US eight to eight and a half. These are definitely an eight, like the eight and a half was too big. Even though I talk about like the heel fit issue, the eight and a half was just, my foot was swimming in it. So um, other than that, pretty true to size, other than um, a little bit tall, even, even the shorts with the, you know, the drop after you break them in, the short height was, is still almost too tall on me. <laughs> and I'm, I mean, I'm short, five foot four, but I'm not like, you know, under five foot. So um, they do tend to run a little tall, but I love them. Um, price point, I don't think I talked about that yet. Brand new, these are going to run you about $299 to $320, $340, depending on where you buy them. Like I said, I'll do an Amazon link below, uh, which is a pretty average price, but keep an eye out for sales from like Dover, Smart Pack, that sort of thing. Um, to possibly get a little bit um, more savings on these. Excuse me. And then um, used market price. Definitely have seen these used on eBay, English writing apparel, Facebook groups, Poshmark, things like that. In the 100 to 150, 180, just depending on, I mean, how much they were actually used. So you can get some good used boot deals. I've um, actually got my first pair of tall boots off eBay. They were the brown version of these, but they were a regular height and I didn't realize I didn't need a regular height. So um, I did end up selling those, but um, 
I love the brown. The brown is usually sold out of these because they're, I don't know if it's more supply and demand or what, but if you ever see the brown ones, go for them. They're super cute. It's a nice dark brown. Um, ADHD, what was I saying? Oh, where to buy them, you use that sort of thing, considerations. The only thing when they're used, just make sure that you get a lot of good pictures of the zipper because I think the zipper is the main fail point on these. I mean, that's for any zipper boot, like my zipper, super dirty right now, which is kind of a no-no. I need to clean these out with a little bit of water and a toothbrush and then let them dry and apply a um, zipper lube. Yes, that is a thing. You need to lubricate, keep them clean and dry. Otherwise, all that grime from beating against the back of the horse can kind of build up and, and create some problems. But, um, but yeah, don't be afraid to buy used boots. I don't know. A lot of people are like, yeah, that's gross. Someone else wore them. But to me, that means someone else already broke them in, made them drop because you're going to have a, a drop. That's where you get the wrinkle down here is you're going to have a little bit of a height drop. Um, so you're going to let someone else do all that hard work, break them in and, and buy them used if, if that's your jive. So I don't know why I said jive. That's so 1920s. But no, I love these boots. They're great. Um, again, I'm going to link a video of me actually wearing them in the end. And if you guys have any questions, comments um, about the boots or anything else that you've seen me post, just um, leave me a comment below. And if you like these type of videos, uh, please like and then subscribe to my channel. I'm a newer small channel and it'd be great to get a few more viewers and or you know also just get comments from people to see what they like and what they don't like and I'm kind of you might be seeing me with different backgrounds all the time and different lighting. Um, if you prefer one over the other let me know um, or give me feedback about the audio lighting that sort of thing since again since I am new. Again, I am new, but this is so fun. I enjoy doing it and uh, I'll have a lot more review videos coming up and some super exciting things coming up because I actually run won a huge giveaway from Riding Warehouse on Instagram last week. So I have something coming in the mail that I'm super excited to do a review and unboxing about. But anyway, overall, definitely highly recommend the Ariat Tall Boots. And um, yeah, can't really say anything bad about them other than the heel rubbing issue for me even after owning them for two years. But to me, it's kind of worth it because I mostly only save these for like riding lessons and shows and stuff. And I use my Ariat Terrain kind of paddock boot, lifestyle boot with um, half chaps most of the time. So that's kind of my workaround for that. So anyway, yeah, I love them. If you guys decide to buy any or have any pictures or videos of you riding, feel free to send them to me and let me know your feedback and maybe some other boots that, that you recommend that maybe break in in the heel better. So. You guys enjoy, have a great day, and again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.